hello guys and dolls it's me Cora welcome back I just want to say really quick before we get started how lucky I am to have such wonderful subscribers and I want to say hello to all of my new subscribers I want to say hello to all of my subscribers who've been with me for a really long time you guys have no idea how much you guys have changed my life and just made me a better person and I just can't tell you guys enough like how much I appreciate you guys coming and watching my videos and hanging out with me and talking about makeup and all of our comments in, in the comment section it's just it's so wonderful and I just feel so appreciative of you guys and wanted to say that before we get started with today's video. So the other thing I want to mention is my top today is from Tord. It has little lips all over it. I thought it was like so appropriate for this video. So in case you're interested in it, I will have a link to it in the description box down below because I'm sure I'm going to get questions about it because I've worn it out a few times and people are already like, oh, where'd you get that shirt? So <laughs> thought I would share that with you guys. So today what we are here for is to review the Give Me More Lip Set by Sephora. This is a set of 17 mini size lip products that you get for $59. $59 to try 17 lip products is like a crazy good deal. You are getting like mini sizes of them, but some of them are pretty generously sized minis and one of them is even full size. So today I'm going to be doing swatches and a review of all these different lip products. This is not going to be the most extensive review for all of them because keep in mind there's 17 different products in here. Um, just kind of an overview, um, first impressions, and for some of these that I've used the products before, I can give you a little bit more information about them. Alright, I have no lipstick on so I'm pretty eager to get started, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with the nudes. The first thing I'm going to try on is this Laura Mercier lip gloss. This is called Blush, and this is their Lip Glossé, I think is how you say it. I don't know. So here we go. So this is a really great, like almost sheer, almost clear lip gloss. This is such a beautiful color. It smells like cupcakes, so for, right away I'm like in love with this. I really like the way that it looks on the on the lips. It's very glossy. It also has like a nice viscosity to it where it's not too thick, it's not sticky. It's very almost like lip balmy kind of feeling, but it has that beautiful gloss to it. I really, really like this one, and I've been wanting to pick one of these up for a long time, so I'm so excited about this. And um, it really does smell really, really good. If you hate sticky lip gloss, this is definitely one for you. So the next lip I want to share with you guys is the Too Faced La Creme Color Drenched Lip Cream. Yes, I got that correct. This is a very nude lipstick, as you guys can see here. It's very light in color. I actually already own the full size of this one, and I've got to be honest with you guys, this isn't my favorite nude. It's just, I just don't really like, like, mega, mega nude lips. I tend to prefer ones with a little bit more color, whether it be a little bit more pink or just ever so slightly pinky brown or peach or, you know, anything that kind of gives it a little bit of color, because I feel like otherwise it makes me look a little bit washed out because I'm so pale, but I know a lot of people really love nudes, so this is going to be one that I think a lot of people are going to love. I will say that this does tend to settle into my lip lines a little bit, but also I have more pigmented lips than this is, so that could be part of it too, is like my own lip color kind of coming through the lipstick, but otherwise, great texture. I really love these Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. As I said, I already own this one. I own most of the ones that came out when they originally launched. They feel nice on the lips, they have really good color pigmentation, and they're a little bit glossy, so they're a pretty good lipstick. This next lipstick, this is what I'm talking about in terms of like my favorite kind of nude, although I would kind of call this more of like a pink type of lipstick. This is amazing. I really like this one from Bare Minerals. This is one of the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Speak Your Mind lipsticks. Oh my goodness, I really, really, really like this one. It's, um, let me, let me actually look at myself in the mirror instead of like moving over here to see myself in the mirror. Um, so this one is definitely more of a pink lipstick than I would say a nude. It was maybe like neutral. We'll call it that. Um, cool tone. Love it. Oh my God. It feels good. It's creamy. It's pigmented. It feels like it's moisturizing. I can't believe I've never tried these lipsticks before. I've never even given them a passing glance, honestly. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, I love this lipstick. So this next product is from Stila. This is the Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss. And I have to be honest with you guys, when I was testing these out, I didn't think I was going to like this one just because, for me, a lip gloss is not something you're supposed to wear all day. Personally, I like to take, oh, here's my hair falling into the lip gloss. Always a fun time. But for me, lip gloss is something I like to take off. I definitely don't like to eat with it on. I just think things get stuck in it and it's gross. The color is beautiful. It's a nice, like, peachy, neutral kind of color. It's definitely on the warmer end, um, but not so warm that it looks super orange either. 
it feels really good on the lips. It feels very smooth. It has a much thicker viscosity than this one from Laura Mercier. So it's definitely thicker of a lip gloss. It has way more pigmentation as well. It's literally like a liquid lipstick. It's a good alternative to a lot of the liquid lipsticks that are coming out that are more matte. This one to me, it's a little bit sticky. Um, if I'm being, can you hear that? That's the little sticky pop we got going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. It does smell nice. It smells sort of vaguely sweet. I can't quite place how it, you know, it's not like vanilla or mint, you know, it's just like a vaguely, vaguely sweet scent. It's sort of pulling here in the outer corners and feeling kind of gummy and gross. So yeah, I actually think this one's a pass for me, unfortunately. So the final one in the nude category is the Aqua Lip from Makeup Forever. This is one of their waterproof pencils. It's intended obviously for the lips. It's definitely more of a brown nude. It's very, very matte. Most people wouldn't necessarily draw in their whole lips with this, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like by itself. Dupe alert, it's very, very similar in color to my en Enchanted Topaz from uh, Olani, so I wanted to kind of paint over that. Yeah, they're a little bit different. I think the Makeup Forever one is a bit pinker, but, uh, you know, looks about the same to me. Um, of course, this one was so much cheaper than this, so it's not, you know, it's not like a cheaper than dupe. But if you are loving that Enchanted Topaz color and just can't get enough of it, this would be one to pick up maybe to kind of replace it or kind of get a little bit more wear out of it by using that as a lip liner. I don't know. Whatever. It's not ready. It started with all of the pink colored products. The first is the Posy Balm from Benefit. And first of all, can we talk about how little product this is? Wah, wah, wah. Seriously? Not cool benefit. So this is like a tinted lip balm. It feels nice and smooth on the lips. It has a really strong rose scent. So if you love rose, you're gonna love this. If you hate rose, I would probably avoid it because it's very strongly like rose oil scented. Um, this to me is not something I would probably pay $18 for the full size. Uh, just even though the packaging is beautiful and it's not a bad product by any stretch of the imagination. But the rose smell is just not my absolute favorite. But more importantly, I just don't think that I would spend this much on just kind of a basic balm. It doesn't feel like highly moisturizing. This to me it just kind of is like basic and I feel like you can get balms that are just as good at the drugstore for you know, a fraction of the cost, just being honest. But on the flip side of that, I could also see that being like a nice little like mini luxury for a young girl or anyone who just doesn't want to wear a whole lot of color or isn't allowed to wear a whole lot of color. You know, it's nice to have that kind of high-end feeling from a product. You know, you have the scent, you have the packaging. The packaging on this is just absolutely darling, to be honest with you. So cute. So the next one I have to share with you is from Tarte. This is their Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment. This is the shade Flush. I actually already own all of these and I think that they're really great. They're very very similar to their lip stains where they just twist up like this and they're very easy to apply. All of their lip stains and stuff come with this like chunkier pencil but this is so much thinner so it makes it a little bit easier to actually line out the lips with it. It also has more of a lipstick type feeling to it. It feels a bit balmy, it doesn't feel very drying. This does have peppermint oil in it so if you don't like peppermint oil this might not be your favorite thing to wear on the lips. I think that a lot of people really enjoy this because it kind of gives them that fresh breath feeling even if maybe they had garlic for dinner or something um and i actually keep these in my kit i have all of them in my kit because i think that they're such a great lip product and they're easy to apply on a lot of people so for instance if i'm doing a bridal party it makes my job a little bit easier and they're easy to sanitize and just really really great stuff um you do get a full size of this one which is kind of cool great little product some of my favorite shades by the way are exposed and uh true love those are some of my favorite shades from this lineup of these so the next lipstick in this lineup is from Bite Beauty. This is one of their Luminous Cream lipsticks. You get two grams of product, which is really generous because a, you know, like a standard lipstick, like from MAC, I think is like three grams. This in person looks like, definitely like a magenta pink, very, you know, definitely in that darker pink arena. But on camera, it's looking so red and it's such a bummer. And I tried to color correct it by like holding up an orange thing. Or like, let's put orange things on both sides of my mouth and see if that helps. Oh, actually it does. So that's, mm, eh, still kind of off. And I feel like an idiot doing this. So in just in terms of the quality of the lipstick, I love the Bite Beauty lipsticks. They feel so good on the lips, so hydrating. It just, it feels so comfortable on the lips. It does have a taste, like if you lick your lips, it tastes a little sweet, but it doesn't really have a discernible smell. Another thing too is that these are like food grade products, so in the zombie apocalypse, I could eat this lipstick and it would be okay. Kind of gross, but you could do so it. My next lip product is from Too Faced. This is one of their melted lipsticks. 
You guys know I love these. I think I have like four of them, now five. I absolutely love these. I think that they're one of the best lip products that's come out in the last year or so. I love the feeling on them on the lips. They feel nice and light. They have a tendency to not really feather or bleed for me. The colors are super, super vibrant. Stupidly easy application. You just twist this little thing open and then you go, uh, 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 and then it's just, it's so easy. It's really easy to work around your lip lines. I have like a kind of a funny lip line over here because I have a lip scar, but this, these just make it so easy to do my lips with a really bold color and they're just one of my absolute favorite products. Um, in terms of this color, I love this color. It's like, hello, Barbie pink. So I'm very, very excited about this. I kind of don't want to take it off, but I have other things to review. So we're going to go ahead and have to take it off. So like seriously, let's just take a moment. <laughs> it's so pretty. Now we're moving on to the berry shades and we're going to start with Fresh Sugar Berry. Uh, this is one of their lip balms that has an SPF of 15. It has just a wonderful, wonderful texture on the lips. It feels so smooth and it really deeply hydrates the lips. This is absolutely one of my all-time favorite lip balms. In fact, look what's on my vanity. <laughs> my sister-in-law was like telling me about it. She was like, have you tried this fresh lip balm? And I'm like, dude. And then I pulled my purse and I was like, look. So um, definitely one of my favorite products. I actually already own this color. So I'm happy to have another one. The texture of these is just so beautiful and they do give you a little hint of tint. So I just took this off, but one other thing to mention about it is that it has a metal case, which is really nice. It feels like it's indestructible. And it has a screw lid, which is amazing for keeping it in your bag. Cause we all know, you know, things come open, they break, you know, or they get gummy in there. I really hate, especially when that happens with lip balm. So it's really great that it has that. And it, it kind of, the full size of these are like $25, but for that feature, I honestly, think it's worth it especially if you're like a mom and you're like throwing things in your bag and stuff really great product um obviously I'm not a mom but I you know as an advocate for my fellow female so now we're going to try this moody lip surgeon's lip tint from Too Faced has that sort of like sheer tint to it. It's a little bit more pigmented than the previous one, the lip balm, and definitely more on like the red side of sheer berry, whereas this one is a little bit more on like the purple tone of sheer berry. This is a really good color. It actually is doing something pretty good with my eyes right now, so I like this. Um, it does have peppermint oil in it. Again, I think all the Tarte lip products have peppermint oil in them. This has like a very thin texture on the lips. It definitely leaves a stain, so if you just want to put a little bit of this on and and blot it off with some tissue and just have a little tiny hint of color. This is a really good product for you if you're not like a lipstick or a lip gloss kind of gal. Okay, so the next product in this lineup that I'm wearing right now is the OCC Black Dahlia Lip Tar. This is one of their matte lip tars. They also sell a similar color to this called Black Metal Dahlia, which honestly I prefer, but I've never actually tried Black Dahlia, so it's kind of cool to check it out. It's not my favorite like dark vampy burgundy. I tend to prefer more of more of like a brick type color when I start getting into the vampy category just because this type of color tends to make like around my mouth look really ruddy and I'm wearing foundation and everything right now but sometimes it makes my skin look kind of ruddy. Just something about it just doesn't really jive with me. However, I know a lot of people really, really love this lip tar. It's massively popular and I love lip tar in general. Like, hello, have you met? Have you been to my channel before? We love lip tar here. But it's definitely something that this particular shade isn't great for me. Now, this one actually comes with a brush to help you apply it, which is really great. All of the OCC lip tars come with a brush, which I think is such a great feature, especially since it's definitely not a product you can apply straight out of the tube. One thing I do want to also mention about lip tars is that they do have a tendency to bleed if you have an uneven lip line or if you have any kind of like lineage you know, around the lips or anything. Use a clear lip liner or a matching lip liner that will help to eliminate some of that feathering. Okay, so my final berry lipstick today is from Buxom. It's called Menace. This one feels pretty creamy. It's got a good amount of pigmentation. It's definitely a lipstick I think a lot of people will like. Two things to note though. Um, the first one is that I don't know if the Buxom lips are a lip plumping product, which I tend to not like because the whatever they use to basically make your lips irritated surprise, surprise, irritates my lips. That's basically how lip plumping products work. So I don't know for sure if this one is a lip pump 
plumping product, but I believe that all of the buxom lip products are plumping. Um, so it's just, it's just not going to be my thing. That's just the name of the game. Um, the other thing about this is that as I was applying it, it was sort of dragging on my lips. And I also want to mention none of the other lip products that I've tried today have dragged on my lips. They've all gone on really great with the exception of this one and this one from Stila, the Stay All Day, the vinyl lip gloss. That one also had a little bit of drag as I was applying it. So, um, Something to keep in mind. Oh, and also the lip liner, but that's because you're not really meant to put those all over your lips. Um, so here we go with this. So now we are getting on to the reds, and I'm going to start out with this one from Hourglass. Now this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to buy this is because I absolutely love this product. I bought a mini size of this last year. This is the um, Opaque Rouge and Icon. This is one I bought last year, and this is this year's one. Now two things I find interesting. The first one is that the packaging is now black as opposed to this really cool like gunmetally brown that they had before which is kind of disappointing because obviously I mean I love this one I think it's gorgeous the other thing is that the applicator is a little bit different it's bigger it's more tapered and it's more like springy which is not a good thing I just had a devil of a time trying to get this on um, evenly and one thing I will say is that this is like a one dip kind of situation like you can really get a full opaque coverage with this with one dip in and not have to dip in for more product problem is is that you know cleaning up the lip lines and stuff can be a little bit difficult and tricky with this product anyway because it's so mattifying it, it, it dries down and really locks down quickly so you got to work quickly with it but with this new applicator it was so spongy and springy it kept like moving all over the place which is why I have these you know Khloe Kardashian worthy overdrawn lips which I actually kind of like but you know I was trying to draw it within my natural lip line like I've been doing everything else and it just wasn't possible because of that stupid applicator. I don't know if they changed the, the wand for the full size product and that's something for me to be concerned about because I would not appreciate that because I really do not like this new little spongy applicator thing. Now in terms of the actual product this is one of my all-time favorite lip red lips of all time. The color's insane. It's super matte. It feels great on the lips maybe a little bit a little bit tacky but if you just kind of set it with a little tiny bit of some translucent powder it'll get rid of that it's one of my favorites it's one of my favorites guys I love it I love it <laughs> the Sephora Rouge Infusion I'm not entirely sure what this product is meant to be I'm assuming kind of like a lip stain um, it feels sort of hydrating it has sort of like a um, perfumey almost like sugar sugary kind of scent that I'm not really a big fan of uh, it actually kind of feels sweaty on the lips and maybe you guys will know what I'm talking about maybe I'll sound like a total crazy person but I hate it when a lip product feels both moisturizing and kind of like wet like if you were to have for instance like lip balm on and then licked your lips and then you have like the moisture from your spit and then the hydration from like the waxy oily product the combination to me feels really sweaty and gross and that's what this feels like to me. I don't enjoy this. I don't like the smell. I don't really like the way it looks. So this one is definitely not one that I will repurchase. So this next lipstick is from Laura Mercier. This is their uh, Cream Smooth Lip Color in the shade Red Amour. And this one is a really great, like, clean 1950s type red. It's not overly cool. It's not overly warm. It's somewhere right in the middle. It has a cream finish, and it feels very creamy on the lips. It feels like almost like lip balmy in a way. It feels good. Uh, it doesn't have any discernible taste or smell. This to me reminds me of the lipstick that Danny is wearing in Hocus Pocus, the uh, Thora Birch's character. Okay, just a fun fact for you. And let's go ahead and get on to the final lippy. So now lastly, but definitely not leastly, is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick. Holy bejesus. This is one of my new all-time favorite lip products. Le Hello, lover. How are you? I just, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. So this is a long wearing lip product. It's like, you you put it on in the morning, it's not going anywhere. It's super matte, very velvet finish. And you can touch it, you can see it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. <laughs> and um, it's just, it's so great. I've never liked products like this, you know, just to be clear. I generally like to remove my lip products before I eat anyway. But I actually wore this the other day from about noon until almost 11 o'clock at night. So almost an entire 12 hours. And when I got home, it was still on. It was incredible. Now, I did need to do some touch-ups on it throughout the day like in the inner rim of my mouth like if I ate something or something you know I'd put a little extra there but I didn't have to touch the outside it didn't feather it didn't bleed the lip line was not disrupted 
it's just amazing. And I've used products like this before that when you move your lips a lot to talk or whatever, it kind of cracks. This, this doesn't crack. And the color also, oh my God, can we talk about the color? This color is freaking amazing. It's like a brick red, uh, which I tend to really like brick reds, but it's a bright, vibrant blue brick red. So, oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I'm like having a little makeup gasm over this lipstick. I have to get this in like all the colors that they offer. I looked and it doesn't look like they have a lot of neutrals, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they would have, but I mean, it's Kat Von D. So, so this is definitely one that I'm going to pick up a full size of when I run out of this color. I'm going to check out more colors of it. I'm just like so excited about it. I'm like makeup gasm. <laughs> so these other products, I don't know which ones of these I'm really going to repurchase. Like some of them I already have and some of them I just wasn't all that impressed by. Like definitely, definitely no to the Stila Stay All Day Lip Vinyl because it did that weird outer mouth thing and this Sephora Rouge Infusion just felt gross on my lips and I just don't have time for lip stuff that feels gross. So that is my very detailed review for the Give Me More Lip Set from Sephora. I have now been filming this for about two hours just to give you an idea of how long it took me to swatch and photograph all of this. It's kind of crazy. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and edit this now and get it up for you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Again, I would love to know what you want to see in my next video. So let me know if you want to see a review probably on the OCC test tube lip tars because I, I kind of made you guys vote on Facebook between that one and this one and it was a pretty close race. So probably that one or I will do a tutorial or I will do a fashion try on. I have all three in the canon waiting and ready to go for you guys. I just need to know what you guys want me to do. So that is it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Remember to make good choices and just be yourself. See you. Bye.